Previously on Mystery Incorporated. Frankly, after all the discourse the second season has provided in a day, I'm just praying that this show is killed sooner rather than later so we can move on to the next Scooby-Doo project. Bro, that's not what I meant. It's only been a few days since the release of Velma 2, and we already have information on a brand new Scooby-Doo series that's apparently headed to Netflix, and, uh... It already kind of feels like we're just trading the expensive animated version of Velma for a cheaper live-action version. And yet, somehow, I'm kind of excited. Here I am, going about my business on a Monday, writing videos, the vibes are good, when suddenly Netflix comes out of nowhere with a steel chair and hits us with a fresh scoop that a live-action Scooby-Doo series is in the works at Netflix. Brother, that's the last headline I wanted to see today. Now, don't get me wrong. Netflix has the most inconsistent track record of live action adaptations ever. And while I think most are bad, every now and then you do get something that's pretty good. So already my ass is pondering, are we getting something like the live action One Piece that people generally consider to be good and I thought it was pretty solid? Or are we getting something like oh, oh, Cowboy Bebop? Unfortunately, I quickly got an answer. A live action Scooby-Doo series could be soon coming to Netflix, Variety has learned from sources. The one hour drama project is set to be nearing a deal at the streamer with a script to series commitment. Exact plot details are being kept in the wraps, aside from the fact that it will be based on the Hanna-Barbera cartoon. Warner Bros. Studios Television will produce, with the studio having recently launched the Dead Boys Detective series at Netflix. Josh Applebaum and Scott Rosenberg serve as writers and will also executive produce along with Andre Nemec and Jeff Pinker under their Midnight Radio banner. Wonder what else those writers have worked on. Uh-oh. Okay, okay, okay. What about this Greg Berlanti guy who's producing? Uh-oh. Should the project go forward, it would not be the first live-action Scooby-Doo project to make it to the screen. Most famously, Scooby-Doo was released in 2002 and starred Freddie Prinze Jr., Sarah Michelle Gellar, Matthew Lillard, and Linda Cardellini, with Neil Fanning voicing Scooby. Ah, uh, the goaded cast. This was truly once in a lifetime casting. Just like Truly Mystery Inc. brought to life, I really wish they kept the original opening for the first movie that's like 2D in the original art style, because not only does it look amazing and I love seeing the Luna Ghost in 2D, but the movie switching between mediums would have been a core memory for audiences all over the globe. Also, hot take for the comments. I like Monsters Unleashed more than the first movie. The first movie might be a better movie, but Monsters Unleashed is my favorite. And I think it really just comes down to the set pieces. But we're not here to talk about those movies. We're here to talk about the horrifying reality that the Riverdale and Netflix Bebop people have their hands on a Scooby-Doo project. That is scary. This might be one of those plagues they were talking about in the Bible, I don't know. Velma is obviously a very divisive show that a lot of people don't like for different reasons. But a big reason for me, and a lot of other Scooby-Doo fans, is that whoever got their hands on this, whether if it was Kaling or an executive or whoever, decided to use their one shot on a Scooby-Doo property on a Riverdale parody. And now an executive producer of Riverdale and the people who turned Cowboy Bebop into... Sounds to me like blackmail. You're damn right it is, because Jack, you are black and you are male. That is going to make their own Scooby-Doo show? Gosh, I wonder what it'll be like. We just watched two seasons of Scooby-Doo but Riverdale. Now you're telling me I'm getting that without the pretty animated close-ups? But hey, maybe the talking dog will be there this time. But he's gonna look weird though. I don't know, man. I know it's way too early to judge. But considering the last thing Berlanti Productions gave us was the Powerpuff Girls pilot, alongside the empire they built up on the CW, we just already know what to expect and it's not what I'm asking for. Wrong medium, wrong tone, wrong... No, that was about it. And yet, in spite of this, I can't help but to get excited at how absurd this show might get. Riverdale is a goldmine of batshit insanity. Crazy, corny dialogue with near Shakespearean delivery. I dropped out in the fourth grade to run drugs to support my nano. That means you haven't known the triumphs and defeats, the epic highs and lows of high school football and wild storylines where you can just feel the fun the writers had cooking it up in the studio. If we can get more of that, and less of, we're making cynical like Rick and Morty, then even if it's bad, we're in for a pretty good time. I know, I sound like a crazy person rooting for bad television, but I just can't help it. There is always a slight chance that it could be decent or good, but still weird, like the Legends of Tomorrow. Barack Obama. It 
will almost be an honor to kill you. Time to make America grod again. I'm pretty sure they're gonna fumble the bag, but I just can't fight my excitement and morbid curiosity. And if you ask me, it makes sense. Netflix won it in a bidding war, so Warner Bros. is making money just off selling it. The CW basically imploded, so this is a way for Berlanti Productions to preserve the legacy. And unless Netflix pumps a stupid amount of money into this, which is entirely possible, although I feel like they only really need to ball out for Scooby, a CW-level Scooby-Doo show is probably gonna be cheaper than something like like Velma, which cost millions of dollars per episode. And with it being live action, a lot more people, especially a lot of older people, are gonna be inclined to give it a chance. Because there's still an insane stigma surrounding animation in America. People are gonna be more inclined to revisit their childhood when it's rubbing shoulders with something like Wednesday or You. But with all of that said, where does this leave Velma? Well, we know there's at least one episode of Velma left, the Halloween special. This was something they tease in the final scene of the second season. After Scrappy kills Velma and turns her into a ghost, she's unable to return to her body, but Thorne's child Amber believes that they might be able to bring Velma back on the spookiest day of the year, Halloween. You know, for a lot of people, this Velma coming back to life would be pretty scary. And a Scooby-Doo fan site, Scooby Snacks, actually reported on this last year in November, reading, Last month, we had a cryptic announcement that a special episode of Velma is coming from the LinkedIn page of a storyboard artist. Not many details were provided at the time, but now, a listing revealing more information about the special has popped up on the Entertainment Identifier Registry. According to the EIDR, we will be getting a Velma Halloween special. The listing was entered into the database on October 25th, 2023. The special will air sometime in 2024, presumably around October for Halloween. It's unclear if the Halloween special is a part of season two, or if it's a separate episode that isn't a part of any season. According to the character designer's resume, character designing for season two began in November 2022 and just wrapped in October 2023. This confirms that season two was planned before the show had aired. As I said in my last video, and the video before that from like last year, two seasons are the norm for Warner Bros. animation shows. So yeah, it looks like we at least have one more Vama in the tank. And at this rate, I'm pretty sure this is gonna be the final season. It seems like the special was picked up in response to the success of season 1, and that if they maybe made a season 3, it would tide people over for a few months. The season came out in April, October is in 6 months, after another 6 months, maybe there would be a season 3. But it doesn't seem like there's a season 3 in production, and if they picked it up now, it wouldn't come out for like 2 more years. So I do think Velma is gonna wrap up with this upcoming special, especially since again, this new live action series sounds like Velma without the animation. And while this new show was rolling out on Netflix, I can totally see them cooking up the next animated series the entire time. Since I imagine it'd take a few years to get the ball rolling on that, it'd have to go through development, and then they would produce the first season. So even if they started on a new Scooby-Doo show like this year, it probably wouldn't come out until like late 2026, early 2027. Which checks out to me, because let's say this Netflix show comes out next year. As long as the reception is at like live action avatar level, where a lot of people like it and a lot of people don't like it, but still, a lot of people like it, it'd probably get picked up for a season two, which would then be in 2026. After that, Netflix could do their usual shtick of, I don't know, we just gave y'all two full seasons, that's a lot of television to us, so uh, get the fuck out. Then this show is canceled. Come 2027, the next animated series would be ready to go. And this is a franchise that never sleeps. There's always gonna be some Scooby-Doo coming out, so I can see them walking down this path easily. Overall, I truly have no idea what to expect. We're either in for peak TV or the worst thing we've ever seen. Like, this could truly be a humbling experience for Scooby-Doo fans and nostalgic adults everywhere. You thought it could get worse than Velma? Think again. But honestly, I just want it to make me giggle. And with all of that said, these are just my thoughts and I would love to hear yours. What's your take on this news? And do you think this is the end for Velma? It has been at the top 10 over the past few days, but at like number five, which when there's not a ton of new Max content coming out in season one, was so widely discussed, I don't know if they're viewing this as the biggest success in the world. But yeah, let's get a dialogue going in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, please sure to like and subscribe to the Roundtable for more great cartoon content. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day. See ya!